good day guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be teaching you how to export your drawing from autocad to Prota structure and how to ensure your grid lines are also exported and your columns are also exported too it's quite simple that's why i'm actually here today so my name is Chidoze Chibike and if you're new to my YouTube channel, I'd like you to like, comment where you don't understand and also subscribe as a means of encouraging me. Thank you for that. Now back to the basic, uh, the topic that we are about to treat today. Now, this is a drawing we have created the grid lines and we've actually placed the different column at the point that we want them. Now, how do we export this drawing to put a structure? Remember, the grid line you're supposed to have dimensions is not inserted. I think this is just a video for you to understand. If you're actually doing an engineering drawing for someone, ensure or a structural drawing, ensure you indicate the dimensions for each and every part of it from the one column to another ensure you indicate your dimensions this is just a video to teach you how to export from AutoCAD to put a structure now we have a drawing so what we do next is we go to this area we click on it and we click on save us now go to drawing and what should we name this? Maybe we should name it our home. Our home. And we save this file as a AutoCAD to 18DXF file. And we'd want to save it in our desktop and we click on save we go back to our portal structure click on it to get it open we're waiting for it to load clicking waiting while waiting for it to load to take some time now we have to create a new project i would like to use the name our home as the project we are creating and i click on ok i'll pick out any template i like using the uk bs8110 and then i import it Now this page has opened up now to export our drawing from AutoCAD to put a structure click on file we click on model file as import click on external reference drawing now we click on load now we go to our desktop click on our home and we open this file we're asking you what unit was used in your drawing remember I used meter while drawing in AutoCAD I click on OK and then I click on OK can see a drawing has been placed here with the different axes now I would want to import the member which is the column and the grid line so I click on import member now to import axis I click on import axis you can see I use the axis layer I use in AutoCAD to import column I click on import column you can see 
that was the ag that was the grid line or the the layer I used was column. So now read column label from text entity in reference drawing. So I click on this and I click on OK. So it has to do a check on my drawing. See if I made a mistake. So I click on start. You can see. I did not make a mistake while drawing that number of error was zero so I close then I click on close you can see our drawing has been imported over here and everything we've done has been imported here now to change these values if I want to change this we have a here and we have one here so this indicates that we you should use numbers here and why we should use letters here which is alphabet now for this i can click on it then i right click and i click on properties and i change the label to b and i hit the update and i close can see the grid line has changed and that is what we've done so rather than going through the long process of trying to get the going through this orthogonal axis generator you can import directly from AutoCAD into Prota structure and start using so this was just what I wanted showing you today Thank you guys and I hope you have a wonderful time with my tutorial. As a means of encouragement, I would like you to subscribe and also comment. You can refer me to others that need to watch this video to help them to learn better. Thank you and God bless you.